All right, Shalom Makin, Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwarash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karab uh, from Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now uh, what I want to go into is um, something that is extremely, extremely important, one of the most important things. Uh, of our faith and that entails us finishing this race man okay and of course it's cliche and it goes without saying okay but there's a reason why uh it's in the scriptures and why brothers right now you know pretty much at the last seconds of this thing uh are motivating each other to finish man okay because it's in our hearts okay it's in our hearts to finish okay but you know on, uh, only lord <laughs> only the lord knows man OK, but that is that is our heart's desire. OK, and the scriptures tell us that he will give us our heart's desire. OK, but more importantly than finishing, OK, is understanding why we need to finish. OK, because it's not per se just for you, man. OK. And it's very it's very important to finish because ultimately you're finishing to help others, you see. And that's what you learn when you read the scriptures. You understand you take the me out in, in, in the we, okay? That's why uh, 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 in the Lord's Prayer we say, Abba Nawa, our Father, okay? So uh, through the Spirit, I just put together a few precepts just to edify on the importance, okay, of finishing. Because like I said, it goes without saying. Of course, we want to finish, okay? The scriptures speak about better is the end of a thing than the beginning of a thing. OK, although this is a labor of love and we love to teach, but we're waiting for the day that um, uh, we can't go out and teach anymore. Why? Because that shows that our salvation is nigher or nearer than we believe. You see. But uh, like I said, I'll jump into these precepts and Lord willing, this is out of fine. OK, uh, let's see what we'll start with. Yeah, let's go with uh, the book of St. John, chapter four. OK. And take it from our big brother himself, our, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is St. John chapter 4. And. Um, okay, I started 31. This is St. John chapter 4 and 31. It says, In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Verse 33. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Have any man brought him out to eat? Verse 34. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Okay? Finish his work. Okay? And guess what? We're supposed to model ourselves after who? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, what did Apostle Paul say? Follow me as I am a follower of the Messiah. You see? And what was his goal? His goal was, I'll uh, read it again. It says, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Okay. And and that's what really what it boils down to, brothers. If we can embody that mindset, okay, we're gonna get up out of here, man. Okay, because the most high ain't the author of confusion. Okay, for you to be doing this thing diligently, fighting those demons off, working towards and pressing towards that mark, okay? And just, just out of nowhere, the most high, like, hey, yeah, you're out of here, okay? Now, the most high can do what he wants, okay? But if that was the mindset behind this, man, then who could, who could be delivered, man, okay? And that's why the scriptures tell you not to be condemned in your sins, man. You fall down, get up, keep fighting, keep pressing towards that mark. Why? Because your meat is to do the will of him that sent us. You see? Okay. So we're getting it from, you know, uh, 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 the top prophet of all time, man. Telling us, look, 
we got to finish this deal. We got to finish this thing out, man. Okay? Because, uh, hey, the scriptures tell you, man, you know, uh, uh, he beginning to build and, and, and having not counted the cost and, and not having sufficient funds to build, you know, roughly paraphrasing, they began to do what? They began to mock him, man. Okay? We got to understand what we're part of, okay? And this is the only way out. Okay, so it's very, very imperative that we finish this course, brothers. Okay, and like I said earlier, not particularly for yourself. Okay? It's more important than that. This is uh, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2. Mm, verse 8. 2 Timothy 2 and 8. It says, Remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach of the seed of David. Okay, a cut to all you immaculate conception heads. It says, remember that Yahweh Shah Mashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Okay, uh, verse nine, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of the most high is not bound. Verse 10, here's the point. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. Okay, so that's insight on how you know significant us finishing is, man, and pushing His word because it ain't for it ain't only for ourselves. It's for the elect's sake. Okay, and once you really understand how this thing works, you want to be pro the elect. Okay, and hey, parent adventure, you may not be of the elect. But do, do the things that are conducive to helping the elect, okay? Which is pushing his word, uh, carrying out the ministry, and then ultimately seeking out salvation. You see? But it's showing you how imperative it is, man. I read it again. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory. You see? And that's why it's considered a labor of love. Because we go out and risk our lives to warn a uh, 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 rebellious uh, people, man. Okay? But we totally and fully understand that uh, uh, the elect, okay, are amongst those rebellious people. And it's imperative that we go out and push this word, okay, so that they can obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Because those things are coming. Now, whether you're a part of it or not, it depends on your work ethic, man. Okay? And then ultimately, it depends on your predestination, man. Okay? But if the, uh, uh, you're compelled in your spirit to push this word and be sincere and seek out the main goal, which is salvation, then here's the key. Okay? Endure all things for the elect's sake, man. Okay? Showing you you're not enduring or, or, or pressing towards that mark, particularly for yourself. Of course. Okay? If you do these things, you should save yourself and those that hear you. Okay? But when you look at the renowned men of the scriptures, they, they, they their claim to fame, the majority of them was that they led a majority, a, 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 a great amount of people in righteousness or tried to. OK, and that's what the Most High is doing with the elect men, the hopefully elect right now, building them up to be leaders of people, man. OK, when you read the book of Obadiah, Salaki, it speaks of the Most High raising up saviors with an S. Okay? When you read the scriptures, it ain't going to just be one Moses this time. It's going to be 144,000 Moses or 144,000 Joshua's. You see? Because that's what's going to take to take over rulership of this kingdom. Now, the Most High can snap his finger like Thanos and everything will be as he wants. Okay? But no, he prophesied. OK, or had his men, the men that he chose in the womb, OK, to prophesy of how exactly how, how he was going to do everything, man. OK, which incites that he is a true power. OK, let's get another precept. This is the book of uh, Romans. Chapter eight. Pretty much read this whole chapter. But uh, for the sake of time, let's start at. Uh, I started at 16. Uh, Romans 8 and 16, it says, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with the Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. You see, 
So we pretty much, hey, now we're not drinking the cup of the Messiah. We're not. And that should be something that you can hang your head on as well. Okay, we ain't, we ain't got to drink his cup. We just have to drink ours, man. But it's showing you, like I mentioned earlier, that we have to walk in that same light and understand that we're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake. OK, they're going to try to scourge us with the tongue. OK, point us out, say we the worst thing since uh, 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 the KKK, you know, and all types of men are evil, man. OK, but also understand that, look, man, we're joint heirs with the most high and Yahweh Shai, man. OK, Yasha Allah, he's a prince of God, man. OK. Verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You see, another motivating reason to finish this thing out, man. OK. And then, hey, and brothers, I'm hearing testimonies from different brothers, man, around around the, uh, 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 around the states, man. That, uh, uh, you know, it's getting harder. Those demons are turning up now that we're at the end. Of course. Because the Most High is purging us and polishing us up to be those rightful rulers and judges, okay? And joint heirs of the one that is profitable in Yahweh Shai, okay? That ain't just no uh, 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 one weekend training class, you know, for <laughs> for eight hours, for two days, 16 hours a weekend, and boom, you're ready for the job. Nah, nah. This pretty much started since the inception, man. Going all the way back to the... Uh, 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 the book of Genesis, man, until the days of uh, uh, Adam. OK, all of this has been in the process to make us the rightful rulers of this planet, man. OK, and that's another reason why it's imperative to finish because the most high decreed it. You see, and guess what? The reality is the righteous will finish. They will. OK, verse 19. Here's the point. It says for the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of of the sons of God. Okay. Now let's look at this word creature here. It's uh well let him say it. Strong's G twenty nine thirty seven. Catesis. Catesis. Okay, G twenty nine thirty seven. And it means the act of founding, establishing, building, etc. The act of uh, creating, creation. Uh, be creation, i.e. thing created. Okay, it says uh, of individual things, beings, a creature, a creation. Verse, I mean, uh, letter A. And here's the, the, the one that best fits. Anything created. Okay, C. It says the sum or arrogant of things created. Okay, so that's what best fits here, man. Okay, when it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Okay, so the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. Okay, meaning us having that power, us being those joint heirs and receiving that same power that the Lord gave you. shot. You see, the whole crea uh, creation is waiting for that, man. Okay, the animals, the trees, the air, the earth. <laughs> You see why? Because the scriptures say when the uh, righteous bear wood, the people rejoice. It ain't going to just be people. It's going to be the animals. It's going to be uh, the ec ecosystem. Everything is going to be back in order. OK. And uh, I remember it was a video that surfaced maybe about six, seven years ago of uh, uh, whether she was a Syrian or Elamite or um, Middle Eastern. I can't I can't tell. But uh, basically, she said that we need the sons, of, the true children of Israel to return to their God so that the earth can get back in order. OK. And really, uh, whether people know it or not, that's what they're, uh, 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 you know. That's what they're hoping for, man. OK. And they don't even know it. OK. But they're, they're definitely in mourning. OK. Everybody has to walk around with a goddamn mask on. OK. Nobody's happy about that. You see, but I read it again for the creature was made subject to vanity. No, uh, verse 20, Salakia. It says for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. OK, showing you that it's all God's plan, man. OK, made us subject to vanity so that when once we find out what is true and what really is, we can seek after that, man. And it just makes for the perfect narrative, perfect movie, man. 
Okay. But ultimately what? Showing another reason why we have to finish, man. The whole creation is waiting on us, man. Okay. Well, waiting on the Lord to make fully manifest us as being the sons of God. Okay. And really to put the whole earth in order, the whole universe. Okay. The scriptures say we shall judge angels. You see? And that's what everybody is pretty much waiting on, man. Okay. Whether they know it or not. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get one more and we'll close out. This is uh, the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4. Okay. And it, um, this is pretty much the account of uh, the Apostle Paul. Okay. And when you read the scriptures, you see his, his works are, 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 are renowned, man. Okay. And, and, and plentiful. Okay. But he understood the goal, which was to finish. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4. Um, we'll start at 6. It's 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6. It says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Okay, and this is Apostle Paul speaking, man. Okay? And he's pretty much knowing he's coming to the end of the, uh, 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 the rope, man. Okay? Verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Okay? And that's what we're all required to do. Okay? Whatever your whatever your end may be. Okay? Like we always say, some of us may have to die for the name's sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Okay? But guess what? That was your lot. That was your lot to stay faithful. Until the end, keep the faith. You see, verse eight. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Okay. And we, we found that count of that in second Ezra. Okay. Where Yahweh shall put crowns on everybody's head. It says, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Okay. Once again, another reason to finish this thing out, fellas. Okay. There's nothing more honorable than to have a crown placed on your head by our Lord and Savior. Okay. And, it's, and the scriptures tell us that there's no better thing that a friend lay down his life uh, 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 for his friends, man. Okay. Which our Lord and Savior did. And ultimately, we have to be ready to do for every brother. Okay. That is sincerely a part of this faith, man. Okay, showing you that we're not just finishing for ourselves, we're finishing for the body, and we're finishing for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's sake. Okay, doing the meat, uh, 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 doing the will of Him that sent us, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I say Shalom.